Frederick, so wonderful to have you here with us. You've been a great partner in this work for a long time. And we'd love to just draw you out here on this topic that we're all trying to understand. What is a living earth? What does it mean? And why is it significant for our times? Well, it is profoundly significant for our times. Profoundly significant. And uh, and so in my center in the upper Peruvian Amazon, uh, I have the permanent project to regenerate um, this pre-Columbian anthropogenic soil made by the humans, the pre-Columbian humans, that is the most sustainable, most fertile soil in the world, and that sequesters about 20% of greenhouse gases. It's a miracle. And the local leaders, indigenous leaders, asked me to give them an alternative to slash and burn. They say the forest is disappearing, our children will not be able to continue. So I've been doing this for a very long time. And for me, already, I brought to it an understanding that was born in India, in my early work, of the earth and everything on it, under it, with it, as alive. But in the upper Amazon, I learned something new. Uh, and it was wonderful because I was reading all the literature that's published on this soil known as Terra Preta do Indio in Portuguese, Black Earth of the Indians. But it was all quantitative and, uh, you know, technological and scientific. And I just, and, and it said that it's full, you know, it said what it's made of and so forth and what Everybody agrees it's full of broken ceramics. Mm -hmm. So what is this broken ceramics? Nobody said anything about it. And my collaborators, my indigenous collaborator, one of them in particular, said, oh, yes, uh, my grandmother always, before planting, offers a piece of broken ceramic to the spirits of the field. I said, really? I said, take me to her. <laughs> I wanted to record her because mm -hmm. I didn't want anybody to doubt it. Mm -hmm. So we went, and she was an elderly lady. She had she didn't know when she was born, but she looked in her late eighties, frail but very lucid. And she says, "Yes, I bring uh, every time I bring it's called shanyo in Quechua, shanyo to the to the chakra. The chakra is the food field, and I offer it." to Mama Achpa and other spirits. I said, really? I, and I, yes, I asked permission to tape her, and I taped her, and, and I've written everything that she said. And I looked in the literature, and nobody mentioned that. And uh, then I went to other communities with whom we, we collaborate, and I said, yes, we knew that, and still some elders do it. But the younger generation, you know, because the mestizos make fun of us, they say this is stupid, this is superstitious, many of us don't do it anymore. And I said, well, uh, are you interested in doing it? Absolutely. So we started doing it and they invited us to participate. And my students, because I do study abroad courses there, and uh, they some of them do it in Quechua, some of them in Spanish. And I told my student, you speak from the heart. You talk to the earth, the way you feel it. And you offer chicha in a piece of ceramics. The women do are the ceramicists. And after you've shared it, you've given it to Mama Achpa, the earth, and you've ingested it, then you break it mm. and you put the pieces in the earth. And this is just clay, right? And it's clay, mm -hmm. and it's clay. So all compostable yes. into the earth. So, you know, there are many other uh, ingredients. I mentioned this one because that's the one that brings in the living earth. Yes. You see the spirits, and they invoke, different people invoke different spirits, but typically it would be Mama Achpa, the soil, the spirit of the soil, Sacha Mama, which is the name of my center, the spirit of the forest. Uh, Mama Kiya, spirit of the moon, Taita Inti, spirit of the sun, 
Yakumama, the rain, the water. And I invite my students to do it. And, they, and I tell them, you, you can do it very softly so nobody hears it. Because everybody's very self-conscious. And some of them, uh, I remember one student, a brilliant student, wonderful student. You know, I, and I invite them to do that. I don't say you have to do that. I say if you want to, you know, uh, they invite us. And if you want to do it, and she says, I can't talk to the dirt. I said, it's okay, don't talk to the dirt. And so the students were going down, and finally I see her going far away. And she's talking, I can't hear, because she's too far. Talk, 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 talk. And went on and on. So she came back, and I said, oh, Anna, you finally overcame. She says, no, 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 no. I explained to Mama Ajpa why I couldn't talk to her. <laughs> so she was still in her own mindset. But, but she was still talking. But she was talking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, just um, maybe one more question to round this out. Um, so many people talk about Pachamama, and I'd love you've mentioned all the various mamas um, and so on. And what's your sense of, of Pachamama? Yes. So Pachamama is more of a highland, Andean highlands concept. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they are now. The Upper Amazonian, the Quichua Lamistas, are adopting it because they know it's, and they, they begin to talk about Pachamama. Meaning but, Earth Mother. Well, right? is she is, it's, it's really much broader. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is the Earth, absolutely, but it's space time. Yeah. It's the cosmos. Mm -hmm. It's everything. everything. But at the heart of it is the notion of Mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is huge, right, in this cosmology, in this worldview. Absolutely. So, I mean, Absolutely. there's many ways, in other words, when we say living earth, this is a very rich and ancient idea. Very rich. And, and as you say, even broader than the earth itself, yes. it's all the elements. All the elements. The cosmos. The cosmos, space, time, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's rich, it's complex. And what is beautiful for me and bringing it to my students, and, and I see how much it is affecting them, uh, it's so you, you can experience that. And um, By being there and working with the soil. And, and, and also speaking, <clears throat> speaking to the water, to the sun, to the mm -hmm, moon, to the, mm -hmm. you know, speaking to the soil. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's a boundary that for many of us modern Westerners, is difficult. It wasn't so difficult because of my experience in India, mm -hmm. where I worked also with peasants and they do offering. But um, it's the first time I did it with students. Mm -hmm. And it's a, and once you cross that boundary and you are able to relate mm -hmm. to the elements, <clears throat> to the earth, to the soil, to the water, as a being, yeah. an alive being, mm -hmm. and you've spoken... And you feel it. It's very powerful. Yeah. It's very, very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Well, you and I have shared this, our early work in Asia, whereas mm -hmm. you've just said mm -hmm. this in Japan, the kami, the spirits are in everything. And mm -hmm. so this is very ancient in many parts of the world, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. indigenous peoples, fortunately, have kept this going forward. And um, my final question is how much we have to learn from these people. Oh right? my goodness. I have learned so much doing this and being so enriched, both in India and in Eastern India and, uh, and in the Upper Peruvian Amazon. <laughs> I feel so blessed, <laughs> is the word, to have uh, l learned, but deeper than that, being transformed, my heart mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. opened my spirit being open, my soul being nourished. Um, and I must add that it's only with your group, your Sangha, <laughs> as David calls it, that I have this intellectually. I mean, it's the only uh, group where I feel equally nourished in, in a slightly different way. Yeah. But equally nourished, and I thank you. Well, we thank you for being a fellow traveler on this journey, because this group, as you've just said, is quite remarkable, mm -hmm. and we are all nourished by yes. this common sensibility that we're trying to evoke. 
And you are, you are the mother spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you.